Hi everyone, it's Miss Ty. This story-based lesson is for all students, so let's go ahead and get started. Hi friends, how are you doing today? What zone are you in? Oh, thank you so much for telling me that. Today, I am happy and in the green zone. I am ready to learn. So let's see, what are we gonna be doing today? Today in computer class, we are going to be reading a story. Today, while I'm reading the story, I want you to work on listening. Remember, ears are for listening. Yes, ears are for listening. The other thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to be asking you questions and you're going to be answering them. We're going to be answering questions about what I read. But before I get started, I wanted to show you something. Are you ready? See if you can figure out what it is. Make a prediction. That's just your best guess. Make a prediction about what you think. What is that? What? Oh, look at that. Look at my little friend. Look, what do you notice about her hair? Yes, her hair is pink. Do you know anybody with pink hair? I know someone with pink hair. Let's look at her skin though. Look at her face. Wait, look at my face. Are they the same color? No, they are not the same color. Her face is pink. Look, her hand and her arm are pink. Her feet are pink. Yeah, look at that. Well, when I looked at her, it made me think about the story we're going to be reading today. Would you like to see it? I'm going to set our little friend over here and she can watch us as we read. Look at the cover of our story. What color do you see? Yeah, I see pink too. Well, that is because the title of our book is Pink Alicious. That is the title of our book, Pink Alicious. Could you touch the title, please? Yes, there it is, Pink Alicious. Well, today we have two authors. Their names are Victoria Kahn and Elizabeth Kahn. Could you touch the author's names, please? Yes, Victoria Kahn and Elizabeth Kahn. Now, I was wondering, could you tell someone, what does the author do? Yes, the author writes the, the words. Yeah, the author writes the words. Well, I have to look inside of my book to find the illustrator. And right here, it says the illustrator is Victoria Kahn. Can you touch the illustrator's name, please? Yes, right there, Victoria Kahn. Touch the illustrator's name. Thank you. Now I was wondering, can you remember, what does the illustrator do? Yes, the illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. Now look, before we get started, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you two things. One of the things I'm going to show you is the picture for our vocabulary. Look at that. That is the picture for our vocabulary. Do you know what color that is? Yes, that is the color pink. That is the color pink. Touch pink. Yes, that is 
pink. Well, that was the picture for pink. Now I'm going to show you the word. Look at that. This is the word pink. Touch the word pink. Yes, that is the word pink. What word? Yes, pink. All right. Well, let's go ahead and open our book. We're going to look inside. We're going to take a picture walk. But today, we're going to look at three pictures. How many pictures are we going to look at today? That's right, only three. So let's start now. Here we go. Hmm, what do we see inside our book? Oh, look at that. She is eating a cupcake. Look at that guy. And then look, mom is baking cupcakes. Let's turn our page. Let's look at another picture as we take our picture walk. What? Look at her. I noticed something different about her. Yeah, there's something different about her. Let's look at another page. Here we go. Oh, this is a beautiful picture. Wait a minute. Look at him. And then look at her. There's something different about them. Okay. So now, before we read our story, we need to make our predictions. We need to make a prediction. That's just your best guess. So, what is your prediction? What do you think our story is going to be about? What do you think our story is going to be about? Do you think it's going to be about Pinkalicious's birthday? A girl who turns pink? A princess? Or a girl and her unicorn? What do you think our story is going to be about? Well, let's read our story and find out. All right, here we go. Pink Alicious. Now, what do I need to do to get our story started? I need to open our book. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, yummy. Look at those cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Do you like cupcakes? They're yummy. Yeah, I think so too. All right, here we go. Let's get our story started. It was a rainy day. Too wet to go outside. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. Mommy said, Let's make cupcakes. Well, I want to ask you a question. Who said, let's make cupcakes? Wait, who said, let's make cupcakes? Was it Daddy, Pinkalicious, Mommy, or biscuit. Touch. Who said, let's make cupcakes? It was mommy. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. Ooh, let's keep reading. Here we go. What color do you want? Pink, I said. Pink. Pink, pink. I like pink. Hey, let's read that part again. That's the line I'm going to ask you to help me read. Let's read it together. My, oh, my turn first. Listening to Miss Ty. I like pink. Let's read it together. Get ready. I like pink. One more time. 
Let's all do it together. Everyone get ready. I like pink. Your turn. Get ready. I like. Yes, I like pink. All right, let's turn the page. Mommy put in some pink. More, I cried. More, more, more. I like. Yes, pink. I like pink. I gobbled up a couple of cupcakes while Mommy and I frosted them. They were so yummy. They were pink delicious. I offered one to Peter, my little brother, but he is very picky and didn't want to eat his cupcake. He is very picky and didn't want to eat his cupcake, so I ate it ask you a question about those cupcakes. Did Peter eat a cupcake? Did Peter eat a cupcake? Yes or no? Did Peter eat a cupcake? No. Peter did not eat a cupcake. He delicious ate his cupcake. All right, I'm gonna turn the page to keep our story going. Please, Mommy, can I have just one more? I begged when I woke up from nap. You get what you get and you don't get upset, she said but I got very upset. Oh, look at Pinkalicious. How do you think Pinkalicious feels? What zone is she in? Is Pinkalicious in the green zone, the yellow zone, the blue zone, or the red zone. She said, but I got very upset. What zone is she in? That's right. She is in the red zone. What is something she can do to help her move to the green zone? You think that would help? Yeah, I think that she should use one of her tools. That's what she should do. Let's find out what she does. After dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then I refused to go to bed. Just one more pink cupcake and, uh, and I'll go to sleep. I promise. I like Yes, pink. Hey, look at that. That is our vocabulary word. That is the word pink. Could you touch the word pink, please? Yes, there it is. You are touching pink. Yeah, that's our vocabulary word, pink. Daddy waved a tired finger at me. You have had enough. Ooh, look at Daddy. What zone do you think he's in? Oh, he looks like he's in the red zone too. Let's turn the page and find out what happens after that. Oh my goodness, look at her now. <gasps> the next morning when I woke up, I was pink. My face was pink. My hands were pink and my belly was the color of a sunset. I, yes, I like pink. Can you find our vocabulary word, please? Touch the word 
think. Yes, there it is. That is the word pink, just like her. She turned pink. Oh my goodness. I wonder if our friend used to be another color and if she turned pink. Well, let's see what they did about Pinkalicious. Daddy thought I had played with markers, so he gave me a bath. The pink did not come off. The pink did not come off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, I want to ask you a question. Did the pink come off? Yes or no? Did the pink come off? No, it did not come off. Look at that. <gasps> what? Daddy thought I had played with markers, so he gave me a bath. The pink did not come off. I, yes, I like pink. Can you find our vocabulary word, please? Yeah, there it is. That's the word pink. Let's keep reading. She took a bath. I wonder what happened after the bath. My hair was the color of raspberry sorbet. I cried because I was so beautiful. I even had pink tears. I put on my pink fairy princess dress and twirled in front of the mirror while mommy speed dialed the um, pediatrician. The pediatrician is the doctor. I'm Pinkerbell, look at me. I'm Pinkerbell, I sang. Mommy grabbed her purse. Just one more cupcake, please, just one more, I yelled on the way out the door. Mommy took me right to the doctor's office. I, Yes, I like pink. <gasps> Look at that. Her mama called the doctor. and She is going to the doctor's office. Oh, look at this. Miss Ty's turn first. Dr. Work looked at me and said, You have a very rare and acute case of pink-itis. Look again. Dr. Work looked at me and said, you have a very rare and acute case of pink itis. I want you to point to those words as I read out loud. Start right here. Dr. Work looked at me and said, You have a very rare and acute case of pink itis. Wow. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Just call me Pinker Bella. Then Dr. Work said, for the next week, no more pink cupcakes, pink bubble gum, or pink cotton candy. Boo, she said. Look, no pink ice cream, no pink watermelon. To return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of green food. Yuck! I like pink. Yes, I like pink. On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend Allison was there, but she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink pe peonies. When I waved to Allison, a bumblebee landed on my nose. Buzz off! I am not a flower, I scolded the bee. I like, yes, pink. Can you touch the word pink? Yeah, there it is. That's the word pink. Okay, I'm gonna turn the page to keep that story going. Oh, here we go. Are you ready? Look, soon I was surrounded by bees. 
butterflies and birds. Mommy, I cried, please take me home. Mommy, I cried, please take me home. Look at Pinkalicious. She wants to go home. When we left the playground, I asked Mommy if I could eat another pink cupcake when we got home. Don't you remember the, what the doctor told you, she said? No more pink cupcakes. Peter tugged at my pink, my pink tails. I wish um, I were pink like you, he said. He was green with envy. Look, Peter wishes that he was pink too. She even lives in a pink house. That night, I pretended to eat my dinner of mushy dark green vegetables. After everyone went to sleep, I sneaked into the kitchen, climbed onto a chair, and reached on my tippy toes to the top of the refrigerator where Mommy had hidden the cupcakes. I like Yes, she likes pink, but look, is she being safe? No, she is not being safe. I took just one more cupcake and ate it. Then I licked the pink cupcake wrapper clean. I like, oh yes, pink. I like pink. She licked that wrapper. <gasps> Wait until you see what happened. Oh no, look. When I woke up in the morning, I felt different. I ran to the mirror and peered at my reflection. I was a deeper pink than I had ever seen. In fact, I was no longer pink. I was red. Yes, I was red. Oh no, not red, I screamed. I didn't want to be red. I should not have eaten that pink cupcake last night. I wanted to be myself again. I know, I knew what I had to do. Look at her. Yeah, she did not want to be red. Now let's see what she did. I opened the fridge, held my nose, and squeezed a bottle of icky green relish onto my tongue. I ate pickles and spinach, olives and okra. I choked down artichokes, gagged on grapes, and burped up Brussels sprouts. Next thing I knew, my arms tickled, my ears tingle, and my feet twitched. Look, she's doing what the doctor told her. She is eating green. I wonder what's going to happen to her now. <gasps> Look at that. I was no longer red. I was no longer pink. I was me. And I was beautiful. So what happened to the rest of the cupcakes, Pinkalicious, Daddy asked? Just then, Peter ran in. And he yelled. <gasps> what do you think he yelled? Let's see. Look at that. Peter ate a pink cupcake and he turned pink. Yes, he turned pink. All right, friends. Now that we've read our story, I want to ask you, what was our story about? Oh, was our story about Pinkalicious's birthday? A princess, a girl who turns pink, or a girl and her unicorn. What was our story about? Yes, our story was about a girl who turns pink. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to do two with our pictures, and then we're going to do two with our words, okay? The first thing I want you to do is to... Touch pink.
Yes, that is pink. All right, ready for the next one. Eyes are looking, eyes are looking. Touch, pink. Yes, this is pink. Okay, are you ready for your words? We're going to do them up and down this time. Here we go. Touch the word pink. That is the word pink right there. Okay, are we ready to do another one? Here we go. I'm going to fool you on this one. Now, touch the word pink. Touch pink. Oh, there it is. This is the word pink. What word? Yes, that is the word pink. Wow, friends, you did a great job with the book Pinkalicious today. And now that we finish all of our work, what do you get to do? That's right, it's time for earned free time. All right, families, you can let everyone go to earn free time. You had a great day today at Story Based Lesson. I love you and I miss you all, and I can't wait until we're together at our class again and we can have earned free time with the toys in our toy closet. I love you and I miss you all, and we'll have a story again together soon. Bye. See you later.